Vivian Meyer, by all accounts, was a very private person, by profession a nanny and housekeeper, but her passion was taking pictures. With a Rolleiflex dangling from her neck, she took thousands of them. Street scenes, intimate moments, anonymous portraits, pictures she apparently never shared with anyone. Here's an interesting one of these. Until John Maloof accidentally stumbled on them. So all this stuff is up in your attic? Yeah, yeah, most of her personal belongings and everything are up there. You see this little girl here? A few years candy. ago, Maloof, a real estate agent like and she, flea market yeah. fan, it, it, the box I bought was the biggest box they had, saw a box of horrible. negatives at a Chicago auction house. Her storage locker had delinquent payments. So what they do is they auction the stuff off. He bid about $400, hoping to pick up some shots of the city for a book he was writing. What he found in the box has literally changed his life. I didn't know how big this would get. When Maloof posted some of the pictures on a photography website, Meyer became an internet sensation. This month, an exhibition of her work opened at the Chicago Cultural Center. But the picture of Vivian herself is still developing. This is our audio cassette recorder. Born in New York in 1926 to a French mother, Meyer's own tape recordings show her speaking with a slight French accent. Well, I suppose nothing is meant to last forever. You can see Meyer on here. Malouf traced Meyer sides, from her name on a film envelope uh, to a 2009 obituary in the Chicago papers. She was known for wearing these big floppy hats. Are these her shoes? It, it, it's almost like Mary Poppins, right? That led him to the families she'd worked for. I met her in a diner, as I recall. Mm -hmm. Like Phil Donahue, saw, Meyer took this picture of the talk show host the day he hired her in the late 70s to care for his four sons. She worked for Donahue for nearly a year. I remember I called her Mrs. once. She said, Miss Meyer, and I'm proud of it. My in the late 80s, Marin Baylander's husband hired Meyer to care for his disabled daughter. Did she ever get a personal phone call? Never. I don't think she had a friend. She kept all these images to herself. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think she'd appreciate them being made public? I think it would be a shame if this stayed in a dark closet because we just don't know if she would like it or not. My mission is to put Vivian in the history books. I like this picture. And renowned photographer Joel Meyerowitz says she may well belong there. He's co-author of Bystander, a history of street photography. She's not trying to charm anybody. She's um, ruthlessly honest, and I think she should be taken seriously. John Maloof is still working his way through all Meyer's negatives. He has 90,000 more he hasn't even seen. Oh, this one's great. It's fair to say, in many respects, you don't even really know what you have yet. No. Shot by shot, we are finally coming to know the elusive Vivian Meyer through her own eyes. Anthony Mason, CBS News, Chicago.